What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to install and use the Light Loader Mod Loader. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all our tutorials we upload, just like this one. Minecraft mods offer a fantastic way to spice up and add new features to your Minecraft game. Using mods, your Minecraft game can be turned into anything you can imagine. They add new blocks, new items, enemies, dimensions, and even change the gameplay completely. Minecraft mods come in many shapes and forms. Throughout the years, the face of Minecraft modding has changed completely as different mod loaders came and were replaced. Nowadays, the dominant mod loader is Forge, and it's what the vast majority of mods are built upon. However, Forge isn't the end-all, be-all of modding. Take, for instance, Light Loader. It's a mod loader built to be as lightweight and compatible as possible, and like Forge, it had lots of mods developed for it. But unlike the other mod loaders that Forge ended up overtaking, Light Loader is made popular, and that's important for two reasons. The first is that Light Loader is compatible with Forge and all of Forge mods, and it can be used alongside Forge. The second and far more enticing reason is that Light Loader mods are client-side. Unlike with Forge, players can join servers without having to make sure their mod lists match, something that can get quite annoying otherwise. You might be wondering why Light Loader? As mentioned in the overview, Light Loader mods are client-side. They're lightweight, easy to use, and easy to install. They also add features that don't interfere with the work of a server, so you can join any server, be it Forge or Vanilla or anything else, without having to make sure that the Light Loader mod lists match. In essence, Light Loader is a mini mod loader designed to load mods which don't need to modify game mechanics. For example, minimap mods, mods that add additional UI elements, or mods that automate certain in-game actions. If you want to know how to install Light Loader, what you're going to want to start off doing is you're going to head to Google in the search bar, type in Light Loader, L-I-T-E-L-O-A-D-E-R, and then click on that and hit enter to get your results. When the results do pop up, you're going to want to click on the download link instead of the main page. When the main download page pops up, what you're going to want to do is look at whatever version of Minecraft you would like to install Light Loader on. We're going to be installing for 1.12.2, so we're going to click on that, which is going to take us to a page with download links. What you're going to want to be looking for is the downloadable jar. You can click on that or you can right click it to open a new tab, which should for sure start the download. Make sure to keep that file. And once you do keep that file, what you're going to want to do is click and drag the file over to a folder where you can easily locate it later on. In that folder, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and double click the jar that you just downloaded and put in the folder. This is going to open up an installer, which of course you're going to want to install your light loader from. What you're going to want to do, or the easiest route to take here, is going to be clicking on Extend From. This is going to allow you to select your Forge installation, which will be the easiest thing and is probably what you're going to end up doing. If you don't want to install on Forge, make sure that you just select the profile that you would like Light Loader to be on. Then, of course, go ahead and click OK, and this should install Light Loader onto your version of Minecraft. Now, today, I showed you how to install for 1.12.2. This will only work for 1.12.2, so make sure that you're installing for a specific version of Minecraft. Installing Light Loader on Chris Forge is really easy. What you're going to want to do is find a mod pack that you'd like to install Light Loader on, then right click the mod pack. When you right click it, go ahead and click on Open Folder. This is going to open the folder that your mod's subfolder would be in. Go ahead and click into the mod subfolder. Once we're in the mod subfolder, go ahead and click at the top of the folder where the directory is. You're going to want to copy all of this text by right clicking it and then clicking copy. Then you can open up the folder where you downloaded Light Loader to earlier. Then you can double click the launcher there to launch the installer. From here, go ahead and click on Extract Light Loader Jar. Then you can click on the three little dots to the right of the directory. 
When you click that, it's gonna highlight all the text. Just hit Control V to paste in what you copied earlier, then click on that. From here, go ahead and click OK, and it should extract all of the light loader files necessary for you to have light loader installed. Installing on the FTB launcher is also really easy. What we're gonna wanna do is of course find a mod pack that we want to install light loader on. Then when you find that mod pack, you can go ahead and click on the three little dots to the right of the mod pack. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on open folder to the right. From here, click into the mods folder. Once you're in the mods folder, what you're gonna wanna do is click on the directory at the top of the folder. You can either hit control C or you can right click to copy the directory listing. Then you can go ahead and open up the folder where you downloaded Light Loader 2 earlier. Then double click the installer and go ahead and click on Extract Light Loader Jar. Then head down and then to the right to click on the three little dots to select a different directory. Then hit Control V once all the text is highlighted at the bottom. Then click on that and then click on OK and this should extract all of your light order files into your mod pack mods folder. On the Technic Launcher, what we're gonna start off doing is we're gonna head to our mod packs tab, and then we're gonna go ahead and select a mod pack that we'd like to install light loader on. Then in the top right, we're gonna go ahead and click on the mod pack options. It'll be a blue settings wheel. From here, we're going to go ahead and find the open button to the right of the directory listing. Then from here, you're going to want to head to the top of the mods folder and then either hit control C or right click to copy the directory. Once you've got the directory copied, you can go ahead and open up the folder where you have light loader installer downloaded to double click that. Then go ahead and click on extract light loader jar. Then head down and to the right to select a different directory. From here, go ahead and hit Control V. Once you've highlighted everything, to paste in your new directory and then click on Open. From here, you can go ahead and click OK. This should extract all of your light loader files into your mod pack mods folder. For the AT launcher, what we're going to want to do is navigate to the Instances tab to the right of the launcher. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to our mod pack and then click Open Folder on the mod pack we'd like to install on. Then when that folder opens, you're going to head into the Mods folder. Once you're in the Mods folder, go ahead and click at the top on the directory and make sure that you highlight everything. You can either hit Control c or right-click the text and copy it. Once you've got that copied down, you can go ahead and open up the folder where you have Light Loader downloaded too. Then double click the installer to get the installer launched. Then go ahead and click on Extract Light Loader Jar. Head down and then to the right, and then click on the little three dots. And then in the directory, highlight everything and hit Control V. Once you've got that pasted in, go ahead and click on Open and then click OK. Once you've done this, you should have Light Loader installed onto your mod pack. To install Light Loader onto your Void's Wrath mod pack, what you're gonna wanna do is find the mod pack that you'd like to install Light Loader on. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Advance and then click on Edit Mods. This should open up your mods folder. Once your mods folder is open up, go ahead and click on the top at the directory listing. Highlight everything that's in the directory listing, then hit Control C or right click and then copy. Once you've copied this down, go ahead and open up the folder where you have Light Loader downloaded too. Then double click on the Light Loader installer. Once you've got that clicked and opened, go ahead and click on Extract Light Loader Jar. Then move down and then to the right to the three little dots. Click on those and then hit Control V once the directory is highlighted. Then click on Open. Then click OK, and this should install your Light Loader files onto your mod pack. If you want to know how to install Light Loader mods, it's pretty easy to do. You're going to install them the same way you would install any other Forge mods for Minecraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Google, 
and we're gonna look for our so-called mods and then we're going to look up light loader and then we're going to click on the mods link that we have pulled up as a result from there what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down the list of mods for light loader that are available for light loader of course and then for this version of minecraft we're going to be picking 1.12.2 so now we're going to head to each page and make sure that it has an install for 1.12.2. All of the links you're going to need to download are going to be to the right of the mod, so you don't need to open up each individual page of the mod, for this page specifically at least. It's going to have CurseForge links, Planet Minecraft links, and some of them might have direct download links. This Chat Bubbles mod for instance, when we open up the Planet Minecraft link and scroll down, it's going to tell us to head to a different page entirely to download for 1.12.2. Some of these pages are old, and they do still work for 1.12.2, so you might have to do a bit of searching to find a specific light loader mod jar that you need. So be very careful and make sure that you head to specific author-only pages, like this one that leads to CurseForge. Now, I was on this specific light loader page when we clicked into the files and search for 1.12.2, it'll tell us that it's for light loader to the left. This version right here, once you click on download, it'll begin the download and of course, you're going to need to click and drag the downloaded file into a folder where you can easily locate it later on. Once you've got that mod into a folder you can easily locate, all you're going to need to do to install this specific mod for Windows is, of course, hit the Windows key and then type in percent app data and then percent again. Then you can hit enter to bring up your .minecraft folder, which you're going to need to do. Then you can click into that folder. And then once you've clicked into the .minecraft folder, you can just click and drag that new light loader file you've downloaded into your mods folder and you're ready to play your version of Minecraft with light loader installed and a new light loader mod. And installing light loader mods onto mod packs is super easy. Just open up the folder that you opened up to install light loader on your mod pack originally, and then open up the folder that you have your mod downloaded to. Then just click it and drag it into that folder that you installed light loader on earlier, and that's it. You've got light loader mods installed onto your mod pack. Now, once you've downloaded light loader and its various mods, you can easily check on what light loader mods you have installed by hitting escape and then clicking on the little tab at the top right of your screen. It'll show you what mods you have installed for light loader. But if you're looking for more light loader mods, of course, you can always head to the official light loader web page and download those. Forge is undoubtedly amazing. It's robust API and player compatibility has ushered in a whole new era of Minecraft mods. But there's a wide world of mods outside of its scope. Lightloader, if anything, proves that mods can be pragmatically useful beyond just adding new gameplay features while remaining client-side to boot. As a player of Minecraft, it's important to know all of your options and not just the most popular ones. Easy use, accessibility, lightweightedness are all important factors to consider when installing mods, and Light Loader even has light in its name. It's a benchmark of each mod that you can install with it. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.